got yourself a brand new Vice Cam V3 and want to set it up without fluff, don't worry. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how you can set up your Vice Cam V3 the right way. So, without further ado, welcome to Bling Bling. Let's get started. It's always best to ensure that you have all your prerequisites ready before setting up your Vice camera. Fortunately, unlike Blink cameras, Vice cameras are self-sufficient and don't require an external hub like a sync module to access the internet. Firstly, you'll need your Vice Cam V3 of course. Make sure that it's plugged to power using the micro USB cable that came in the box. You'll also need access to a 2.4GHz Wi-Fi connection that has coverage in areas where you want to set up your Vice camera. Lastly, you'll also need a phone running iOS or Android connected to the same Wi-Fi. Since Wise cameras are smart home security cameras, the hardware of the camera is only one part of the story and you'll need the companion Wise app on your phone to complete the other half of the story. The Wise app is a necessary component in your Wise camera setup and it's free to install on your smartphone. To install the Wise app on your smartphone, you'll need to first open the App Store present on your phone, which should be the Apple App Store for iOS and Google Play Store for Android users. Then, on the search field on top, search for Wise. The Wise app should be listed with the Wise logo as its thumbnail. Tap on the listing and install the app. Once you install the Wise app on your phone, the next step is to create a Wise account. A Wise account is necessary to link your camera and get it rolling and unfortunately, there is no other way about it. But this additional step does help ensure that if your Wise camera gets stolen, access to the footage that's recorded by your Wise camera will be blocked till it's in sync with the Wise account again. Open the app and you should be greeted with the Wise logo. Tap on Get Started and you will be taken to a web view page to input your username and password. Now, you can either click the Create an Account option to follow through with the traditional approach of login or use your Google account or Apple ID to create your account much faster, which is how I recommend you do. This way, you'll only need to log in to your Google or Apple account and the app should auto-sign in without needing a password. Once you have followed through, Wise should push its terms and conditions. You can take your time reading through it if you're curious, but it's as safe as any other service out there. Once you've finished, tap on the checkbox and proceed. The next page should relate to newsletters from Wise, which I recommend that you turn off as nobody likes promotional email spam. It's not necessary to provide your mobile number as well, as your email should be enough. Now, just tap on Go Home and your account creation should be successful and the Wise app should initiate the login process. Now that you've created a Wise account, let's move on to pairing your Wise Cam V3 to the app. To do just that, first, you'll need to have your Wise camera powered on. Unlike Blink cameras, Wise cameras do not operate on batteries. So, you will have to connect it to power always using the micro USB cable which Wise has included in the box. Before moving on to the pairing process, make sure that your phone and your Cam V3 are covered by a 2.4GHz Wi-Fi signal. Go to the Wise app on your phone and tap on New Device in the center of the screen. Then, tap on Cameras and select Wise Cam V3 from the list of devices shown. Since we've already powered on the device, you can tap on Next. Then, open the base stand of your camera and press the button marked as Setup. You should hear a chime and the camera should say ready to connect. Then go to your Wise app and check the box field below and tap on next. Give the necessary location permissions for your Wise app as well. The Wise app should recognize the network that your phone is connected to. Then just add its credentials and proceed to the next page by tapping on next. Now you will be shown a QR code on your phone screen. Using your Wise Cam V3, you will need to scan this QR code. Once the camera says QR code scanned, you can check the box field and tap on next. Your camera should also initiate the pairing process and finally claim setup completed. You can now name your camera and finish with the setup. You can skip over the things to try option that pops up for now and get your camera rolling on your Wise app. If you have more Wise cameras to set up, you can just tap on the plus icon on top of the Wise app and add your device from there. Now, since the Wisecam V3 requires a wired connection, 
it can be a bit of a task to properly mount the device. But thanks to the tiny form factor and the built-in stand, it can make an excellent camera mounted on a tabletop. Also, there is a screw hook on the base of the stand that you can use to mount on a screw head. The head is also flexible enough to provide you the ample leeway to adjust the line of sight of the camera. Real-time streaming protocol or RTSP is a feature that allows 24-7 video recording on security cameras but it's not something that you generally see on smart home security cameras. But WISE did have plans for including RTSP on select WISE camera models including the WISE Cam V3 and even pushed out beta firmwares for the same. They did drop the RTSP plans after a while but the beta firmwares can be found online and flashed on your Wise Cam V3 if you really need the feature. I've already made a dedicated video on how you can do just that on your Wise Cam V3 which you can check in the description below. So subscribe if you want more Wise content like this. Just know that you will lose out on a lot of smart features in the process. And with that, I feel I've touched everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I will be making a dedicated video on the best settings that you can configure Wise app with in order to extract the best out of your Wise Cam V3. So stay tuned for that by subscribing to our channel. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and comment any queries that you have down below and I'll be sure to check it out.